Hello everyone and welcome to the first part of the PyQt model view programming series. My name is Yasin and I'll be your instructor. There are no minimum requirements for this tutorial. It should be easy to follow for anyone with any programming experience, but PyQt or any other UI programming experience will surely help. For those who do not know what model view programming is, do not worry as I'll be giving an abstract overview and a small demonstration as we progress through the tutorial. My goal from this tutorial is to give you a basic understanding of how to use the model view programming framework that's provided by PyQt. This video's intention is to get everyone up and running with the model view programming in PyQt, so no one has any trouble following my future videos about this topic. By the end of the video, we'll have gone through what a model is, what our view is, and also how we can use the same model on several views. Okay, so what are the problems and what does model view programming solve? Here's a way to look at it. Imagine that you're making an RPG game and you have a window which allows you to define races. You define an orc, an elf, a dwarf and a troll. Fine. <coughs> then you have your NPC creation window where you can create new NPCs and choose what type of race each should be. And this is done by a drop-down list from a combo box. You will notice that keeping this data synced will cause some headache. You want the NPC window to reflect the data created in the race definition window. Most people will devote themselves to solve this issue by using signals provided by the Qt widgets. This might be appealing, but it's not the best way of solving the problem. <laughs> What happens when you start adding more data, such as health, mana, attack power, spell power, armor, defense, expertise, armor penetration, critical chance, melee haste, spell haste, vitality, restitution, resistance, durability, fitness, power, intelligence, stamina, spirit, agility, recovery, step, strength, energy, endurance, effectiveness, constitution, mentality, sociality, dexterity, charisma, wisdom, protection, damage, speed, experience, power, power, certification, runs, and so forth. This system is not going to be maintainable, and you'll be thinking more about how to find ways of inter integrating code into your application, more than actually developing something with that wasting a lot of time. The solution is model view programming. Model view programming is a type of software design style. It allows you to decouple your UI from the data it displays. So you have your view or the UI which doesn't store anything at all. You do not store the values in them. Then you have your model or data which is the interface that the view communicates with to retrieve something to display. The model is just an interface the view interacts with. Example, CNN is the view, and the reporter is the model. CNN asks the reporter for the data. The reporter gives the data, then CNN shows it on the TV. This is a way of thinking how model view programming works. This solves problems such as complex code getting hard to maintain, or UIs getting out of sync when displaying their data and so forth. <coughs> 